Hey guys, uh, Mr. Fetty here. So today, this is pretty surprising right there. I'm going to do my Amiibo collection, you know, requested by one of my fans. So I hope you enjoy it. So let's do it. First is the Mario Amiibo. So pretty much from the, the Smash Bros. Uh, wave. And I just really like this look, you know, the design is looks really on point, and I just kind of feel like I find it better than the, the Mario Party one, which, you know, he just looks like he's ready for battle, and that fireball he's having, it looks so, looks pretty nice looking, and the overall looks nice, the hat looks nice, the details are really good, so, I gotta get props on Mario, so, yeah. Next is Kirby, and pretty much the most simple character to make into an amiibo. There's some some little, little scratches right there, but it's all in good condition. And I just pretty just looks pretty cute in, in this pose. I just feel like I feel like that possibly my favorite pose for Kirby in the Smash series has to be from Brawl. You know, he looks doing his, like the neutral attack, neutral air, which I just feel like it looks look cool looking. So yeah. So that's Kirby. Pretty simple, but pretty cute. Next is Luigi from the Wave 2 of Smash Bros. Amiibos. And I just think we like, pretty like this one, but I don't know if people actually didn't like this one. And they more preferred the Mario Party Luigi design. Oh, and also, mine has like a little crooked mustache, but it's more just an error. But I think it's, I find it the rarest Luigi Amiibo with this type of error. Like, if it ever exists. But like the only one who got who found who got this, so yeah, pretty good, simple design with this lots of with this the overalls and the hat and pretty much the pretty much the this looks kind of a little distracted but it looks still good for for this for the look for the, the, the amiibo or Luigi so yeah. Next is Bowser and I just really pretty appreciate it this look since. It looks so. It looks good. Like he just. He's like. Looks like he's grabbing. He's gonna grab to your grab to your face or something. Like and pretty much fire breath you. And then the the shell looks very good. It looks detailed looking. The spikes looks on point. Well, except for one of them looks have a some paint error, but it's just it's just okay. It's just on point with this amiibo. So yeah. So that's Bowser, and I just. Plus, he's one of my favorites in Smash 4. Just can't wait to, to play as him again in Ultimate when it comes out. So, yeah. Next is uh, Yarn Yoshi from the the Yoshi's Woolly World Amiibo Wave. Uh, this Yoshi is coming like in three colors, which is green, as shown here, pink, and blue. And I just like feel like this one's actually actually like green as a color, but. For Yoshi, because he's the main, because this is the, the main Yoshi, you know, because Yoshi is Yoshi, so, they're just very cute, and since this is like, I'll see it feel like a plushie, you know, but as a amiibo, it's just pretty interesting, since it's a plushie, and it has a small, neat tag, like a plushie, like, yeah, pretty much pretty cute, it looks like it's made out of, you know, I just want to give credit on Nintendo, just, Make this amiibo made out of yarn. And it looks so cute. Okay, onto the Splatoon stuff. Just the, the first game. Which is the Inkling Girl. And you see, I just like pretty much... It's actually a very basic design. Because I think it's using the Smash 4. If you buy the, the Inkling costume for the me, you'll get this trophy. And I just really, really like the details. Looking like, just, like the splatter shot looks pretty good. The, the the orangeness on the hair, the orangeness on this on her hair looks pretty accurate, and pretty much unique is it wasn't a smash symbol, but it's actually the Splatoon type of symbol. But yeah, I just really like it. Like, wow, it's just so impressive for for the day she did lots of time with this. Woomy. <laughs> Next is a uh, Inkling Boy, which is actually pretty has like on point like Inkling Girl, but. I just like pretty much really like this, you know, but since, you know, since, since my fans said that if this is my favorite amiibo, I was like, yeah, alongside the other two Splatoon amiibos, you know, 
I think like Kaylee and uh, Marina ones are actually my favorites because you know Kaylee and Marina are best girls. <laughs> so yeah, I really like the, the the details on the shoes that you know and the the pretty much it's, they actually have the detail on the headband, you know the hairband. So I really like that one. So yeah, that's the Inkling boy. Next is the Inkling squid. Which I think this is like the the best one out of the bunch because it felt like a statue when it's like a looks almost looks like a figure, but it's felt sold statue because this is like the the amiibo that has been used for like the, the Splatoon special edition in Europe back in twenty fifteen. So very really like it because they actually did very simple and looks very amazing with that green splosh coming out of the coming out of this coming out of the inkling squid. So yeah. It's not even for some, some dirt in it, but I'm so okay with it. But very good looking design. And the eyes, they actually looks kind of creepy looking, but still look cool, kind of unique and cool. <laughs> okay, onto the the eight bit trio back in Smash Four. This one is Mr. Game and Watch, possibly one of my favorites out of the trio because I'll just like pretty much like more like surprise type of characters like. Game and Watch, Rob, Dog Hunt, We Fit Trainer, and the pretty much controversial Prana Five. I still gotta main the dude when that DLC comes out. So yeah, really like Game and Watch for this. So yeah, you know, just flat, but it looks almost very good. Even it's flat, looks almost 3D looking. And there's also come with like like three different poses. So let's just check. Let's highlight it. So let's check it out. Okay. Hang on. First one is the, uh, this is the brawl one. Let's see, Let me get this out. and there it goes. This is like the Smash Bros, Smash Bros brawl pose, which I feel like I'm more a fan of this pose than the one in Smash Four. So yeah, so that's that. Next is, hang on, let me, let me get this in. This is a bunch of noise trying to. If it's connected or something. This one is the the side B pose, and uh, it looks like it make Game Watch looks kind of small, but it's pretty good. Even if it looks looks like he's shrunken himself, and the uh, much everything looks kind of bigger. Like this, the nine and the hammer he has looks a little bigger. So yeah, and finally the parachute one. Get that in. Yeah, it's quite annoying. So I have to connect the pieces. Here it goes. Here's the the parachute one, which it's quite pretty ridiculous. He's just become smaller, and the parachute looks bigger than him. So pretty ridiculous, but possibly I think one of my favorite pose has to be the Smash Bros. Brawl, the Smash Bros. Brawl pose. Even for it's actually the taunt, but I think I'm just gonna refer to this as the Smash Bros. Brawl taunt. Like, yeah, if you actually flip it, it looks like it's the Smash Bros. Brawl. I uh, look so yeah. I'll see my favorite, and I'm just gonna use this like most of the time when I you know, on display. Yeah, so, that, so that's Mr. Game and Watch. Okay, next in the AP trio is Rob, and this is his like the regular one, which is the gray one, which has been used for Smash Four, but in Brawl, which I'm gonna show you next. So let me take them off, which is. His Famicom look, which I think I think I like this more because it looks a lot more brighter and colorful. Because you know, you know, I just like feel like the I like the the gray type of Rob, but this is like a lot more colorful. And this feel like I'm more of a fan of this than the the gray color Rob. So yeah, so that's Rob, which are two of them, but one of them is more like a I feel like more of a store exclusive. Like I think. I just I think my mom got this F O E. Well, I think I got this at GameStop. So there's like two different exclusives for those guys. So yeah, and on to the last member of the A P trio, and this one is Duck Hunt Dog, which he's kind of the most controversial fighters in Smash Four. But I think people end up actually like the guy because of the fan comic that the, the Smash Bros fan actually made, and I just really like it. So yeah. I just really like it. There's like two characters in one type of pose, like Rosalina and Luma, but I think I like this the best, so yeah. So on to the, the next uh, me build I'm going to show you. 
Next is Pac-Man, which I actually really like this. Really like it how they actually did a good job on those without messing something up. So yeah, Pac-Man didn't have like some some issues, but except for like has some 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 scratches or something, some some colors out of nowhere. But I'm still okay. But I just really like pretty much Pac-Man's uh, amiibo design. You know, for a lot of us, kind of a little bit, kind of less plain. Less of a Pac-Man main on, but just more of like a villager, Bowser, DDD, and Rosalina type of guy. But I still like Pac-Man for this amiibo, so... Yeah. Next is Princess Peach, and this is her Mario Party look, and I... Sadly, there's no, like, the Smash Bros. I didn't have the Smash Bros. one, but... I'm still like... I feel like this is better, because it looks... Less look like it's less loose, but it looks like a statue, so... I just really like it since this is the Mario Party version of Peach for the Mario Party Amiibo Waves back in 2015, but it looks good on point. Like, seriously, they actually did a good job on this Peach Amiibo than in the Mario Party look. But no, Smash Bros. Brawl, uh, Smash Bros. Brawl 4 Peach Amiibo looks looks like it's about to be loose or something, but I still like this, you know. So, yeah, on to the next one. Which this one is Olimar from the Pikmin series, and it looks so amazing. I think this is honestly one of my favorites, in my opinion, because you know, Olimar is actually always like pretty much uh, a big fan of Pikmin since the f since I just introduced to, to Smash Bros. Brawl because you know, Olimar is a playable fighter in the game. And I was like pretty like the guy, so yeah. So that's Olimar, and I just really like that. It's like three Pikmin, and it should make it like a four characters in one type of. Amiibo, so, yeah. Walmart for the win. Next is the Mar Super Mario Mario 30th Anniversary figure, and it, it's actually really good. Possibly also my favorite, because they, it, it looks so, like, so frick, looks like it's in 3D if you look at it, so. Looks so 3D right there, so, yeah. Yeah, I just like pretty much like the pipe is actually not the just your average flat look, but it's actually the pipe and more coming out the pipe, it looks actually really on on point with the design on this amiibo. I gotta give a thumbs up on the Nintendo for designing this. It looks so good. And also it's coming with the modern colors of it, but I feel like that this the eight bit the the, the classic Mario looks actually look better in my opinion. So yeah. On to the next one. So first up is or, or Next is actually Toon Link, and I just like pretty much actually more a fan of Toon Link than Link in Smash 4 because you know more like more like that this fast and but still strong type of character. So yeah, I just really like it, how they like the design of it and it looks actually good. So yeah, and the Master Sword is a little sharp, but ouch, it's pretty sharp. And the shield design it looks actually pretty good. I probably see similar to the links I think is is actually the most complex because the shield they had to design the shield and the and the sword, so yeah. So that's Toon Link. Next is gonna be Who Ha. It's Diddy Kong. And it just is actually pretty good for it. And then you know, he's Diddy Kong used to be like a freaking god in Smash 4 before he got nerfed the heck out of it. And pretty much Bayonetta and Bayonetta became the new the queen of Smash 4, but they can't still get some good stuff in Smash 4, so hopefully get some like some good buffs from Diddy Kong, but maybe maybe the tier list might be will be he'll be lower, which is kinda sad, so yeah. So that's Diddy Kong. Really like the how they actually have the Nintendo type of hat detailed and the shirt. Yeah, good details right there. And the fur looks pretty good. So yeah, and <laughs> but he looks a little a little third. So yeah. On to the next one. Next is Banana Slamma, Donkey Kong. And I just like felt like this is like looks very really big and kind of heavy, and the fur texture is pretty good. Like I can feel it. It looks like you know it's just made of plastic. And this has some some fur texture right there, and the tie is actually pretty good, detailed, and DK looks actually less derpy than Diddy Kong. Since my Diddy Kong looks a little derpy, but DK wasn't. So yeah, and. It looks like it looks like he's using those uh, fist fans. Like, yeah, it looks good. <laughs> but but the giant block of ice coming out of DK's uh, ass <laughs> looks kind of distracting. But pretty good figure for DK for this amiibo. So 
yeah. Okay, next is Ness from Earth Mound. And I just like pretty like this because it looks pretty good. Especially the they actually have like lots of details looking like the shirt, the the hat, the shoes, the pants. <laughs> okay, 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 I don't want to talk about the pants because I'm not the weirdo, so yeah. Pretty good in the in backpack looks pretty good and they actually have just more simple black dot eyes on it. You know, I'm just a little stupid on what the pants looks kinda good looking, so yeah, yeah, it has like has some black pockets which I just noticed it, so but and it's like a little little error right there, but I think it's like from damaged. Like it looks almost aged or something, but it's a little bit ripped, but pretty good figure for for the Ness Amiibo, so yeah. On to the next one. Next is Dr. Mario Amiibo, so I just like pretty much this is like the best design amiibo because you know look at this. The pill is actually very simple to design. And the clothes on Dr. Mario is actually pretty detailed looking. And we can see like the hair of it looks pretty pretty nice looking, so yeah. And, and the, you can see the great dark pants, it looks pretty good. So yeah, Dr. Mario. I think he's. I think I'm more a fan of Dr. Mario than the regular Mario. So yeah, don't add me, guys. Next is Rosalina and Luma, and which is a two-in-one type of amiibo, and I just really like it. And also, also, dude, this isn't like something invisible, but that's kind of strange. But but the the the, the cleat plastic on Luma's uh arse is kind of distracting, but I just really like this figure. So yeah. Well, it's kind of weird. It looks kind of strange, and that Rosina's face looks kind of weird. But I'm still okay with it. The hair looks good. The dress looks good. The wand looks kind of, even though it looks almost loose, but I'm still good with it. I'm still okay with it. So yeah, that's Rosalie and Luma Amiibo. So yeah. Oh, we're almost close at the end. So next is the Planet Kirby uh, Amiibo wave, which is the this Kirby on a warp star, which. I guess it's kind of strange that Kirby looks smaller than the Smash 4 one, but it still looks detailed. It looks pretty simple but good, but there's some like little, looks a little beat up, but it's, it's like, yeah, looks kind of okay, but you know, it looks still in good condition. The Warp Star wasn't, isn't, like has some like some errors, but except for this part, so yeah, pretty good amiibo for this Kirby, so yeah, really like it. Next is the the main protagonist of Modern Three, which is Lucas, and man, it looks good. Like red and yellow, it's just amazing on Lucas, and the blonde hair design looks has some good details. So it's like it's, they actually add a lot of good details on it, and several black dot eyes, and looks like he's using the Force type of thing, like just PSI or PK. And then Smash and like Japanese version of the Mortar games, but it still looks good. Oops, it still looks good for an amiibo, so yeah. Next is Gold Mario, and I just pretty much really surprised that this is like more of a repaint of the Mario figure from the, the Mario Party Mario Party amiibo wave, but it looks pretty amazing. Like, it's all made out of gold. You can see the, the eyes on Mario, and it looks very good. It's also coming in the silver, the silver version, but I didn't go, but I didn't got it. But it still looks amazing for Gold Mario. It's pretty good, so yeah, it looks very shiny. It's pretty, might be looks like like a might worth a billion dollars, right? So yeah, on to the next amiibos, which are the Squid Sisters. Next is Cali Lee, which is the first one. And I just like pretty much have to faint about the Kelly because she has like a bubbly type of personality and she's, she's pink. Because pink is the cutest color ever. <laughs> and because even though I'm not a weirdo who likes pink because it's the cutest color ever. But some cute colors that just make me giggle. Maybe squeal. And maybe almost, almost dying from uh, cuteness. <laughs> so yeah. And I'll see this uh, Pretty detail, uh, pink blushes coming out of her, and it's more different than like the usual Splatoon icon on the amiibo, on this amiibo statue, on amiibo, whatever, the 
Amiibo stand. I just really, really like the details. Like, they actually give it. Actually, did a good job on just trying to make her look good looking. So, yeah. And also, she had, her dress is kind of her clothes is kind of little sparkles. Yeah, sparkles. Cause sparkles are amazing. <laughs> so next is uh Marie. So here she is, and I just like pretty much really like this one a lot because you know even for she has like this skirt looking thing, and you can. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I just don't want to get demonetized or something. Even from I didn't have a demon demonetization feature on YouTube, which I think that's a good thing. Even if there's like a little error, the the white the the hair on her has a little chipped or something, but it still looks good. And also the hat looks pretty crystal clear. Looks looks pretty good. Also her dress is also sparkles like a uh, Kelly. So yeah, and the gray hair and the, with the green deep green dots on it looks pretty good. So. Yeah, that's Marie. Okay, next is Poochie. And, oh my god, this is the, the cutest thing ever! Which I think it's kind of like a, the the Poochie and Yoshi's World World uh, bundle, which, if you haven't seen in my 3DS collection, I just like felt like uh, Yoshi's World World is like a very fun, possibly one of the best Yoshi games alongside the original Yoshi's Island, in my opinion. So, yeah. And his amiibo is just so cute. And then just... The little tail, the, oh my god, the smile, oh my god, yeah, I think I have enough sand in this cute little pup, but I just really love it, like the cute dot eyes and the, this big old tongue, just so cute, Ugh. so yeah, so that's Poochie, okay, next is gonna be Pikachu, which I actually pretty like this one, like, it looks simple, and they actually still had to keep it look like Pikachu f trophy from Smash Four. It's just, especially like it has the brown, like the brown part on her on his tail, the the black, the black, uh, the back, the black ears, the black tip on the ears, and the brown back, and it looks cute. <laughs> like it's just so friggin' simple, but obviously one of my favorites. So. Yeah, that's Pikachu. Pikachu! <laughs> Next is Mega Man, and I just pretty much really like this. Like the look of Mega Man for this amiibo, so. It looks pretty good. And I just really like it. It actually just had two simple colors, except for the red and the yellow. It's like just blue and kind of dark gray blue, so. Yeah, just like darkish blue or something, so. Yeah. That's Mega Man, you know, so. Pretty simple, but pretty good when those just two simple colors and some a little bit of red, yellow and red. So yeah, pretty good figure. And Amiibo. Next is the Odyssey Mario, which I think this is the best Mario alongside Dr. Mario for the best looking Amiibo design. And it looks on point, so yeah, it looks pretty good in my opinions. And I just really like it, like the, the detail on the hat, like it felt so or rocky, but it's pretty good, and it looks almost looks almost sparkles, and the shoes almost spark. Yeah, it looks almost it has some sparkleness, but except for the hands and Mario's head. So yeah. Oh, and also the, the M symbol. I just noticed it looks pretty good. It looks like a button. So yeah. So that's the Mario Odyssey Mario. Next is the Breath of the Wild Link, and my God, this is like possibly the my one of my favorites. You know. Because I just really, pretty much actually really like the looks on the Breath of the Wild Link, the, which is the Archer one, which even for that, some, some parts is loose, but it looks pretty good on its own. Like, wow. Nintendo has some lots of effort on this figure, and I just really like it. So, yeah. So that's Breath of the Wild Archer Link. So, yeah. On to the, the last few of me builds. First is going to be the custom ones, which are the zombie ones. So, yeah. <laughs> First is this zombie five Pikachu, and it looks really freaky and kind of cool looking. Like, yeah, it looks so good. Like, I think I just can give credit on the the guy who actually made this, which is Asaltis. Yeah, I just really like the design. And also, also this kind of looks look like it's, uh, looks like movies on its own, but it's kind of weird. But really like the 
the, the design of the skull, the, the ripped face, and it just looks on point. So, yeah. So, that's the zombie Pikachu. Next is the zombified Inkling Boy, and I just really like it. And the only thing difference from the regular Inkling Boy is that it has a blood stain on the shirt, and his gun is, on, is down, and he has a big detail looking a skull right there. Like a big chunk of his face head is missing and pretty much look pretty freaky looking with the damn teeth and the no pupil on it which makes it have that like, pretty creepy looking so yeah and also the hand is also didn't have looks like it didn't hold a gun didn't hold this thing so so yeah that's the zombie inkling boy next is zombie sonic which i think i didn't i didn't got the, the regular sonic amiibo but i just really like this you know, even if it's custom, like the shoes, the the quills, and pretty much how this it looks like this might be perfect for like to like and Sonic just looks like it's running going on the running track type of race. And also that that little li little gut right there is looks kind of gross looking so and the eye looks pretty and the lots of chunk of its look on this look it looks missing. So yeah. Pretty good custom amiibo for Sonic, so yeah. On to the last two. Okay. Which is gonna be the off the hook girls, which is the first one is Pearl. You know, I just really like this amiibo in my opinion. It's just I don't know. I think if I'm not a fan of Pearl like everybody else, but I just really like it because of this amiibo and the crown just looks very visible looks clear looking, the what the pink dots on her hair and the Pretty much the zipper on her, and okay, yeah, I don't want to say something about it. So, and the shoes looks detailed, and and just doing her like, don't get close, stay off the hook pose. So yeah, and the iconic pink blotches coming out, coming out from from her ink, which I think I like it. So yeah, pretty good amiibo figure. So yeah. On to the last one, which is Marina. Yeah, possibly the best looking design for the amiibo because you know, like the octopus tentacles, the headphones, the the zipper, the clothes, the shoes, and her pants looks pretty. Good looking, even if it wasn't glow, which is kind of kind of wished they had the their possibly their possibly their pants are glowing. So yeah, I mean the f detail on the face looks freaking cute. So yeah, possibly best design for Amiibo and one of my favorites. Whew. Oh wait, here's the last Amiibo, which is gonna be Wario. <laughs> I for I just forgot about this guy. Sorry, Wario. I just almost forgot you. I just really like the design in it. I think this is really awesome. Like the helmet, the the, the vest, the jacket vest, the all that detail. Plus, see the the W's on him. Even for one of them, looks almost has some paint missing. It looks almost looks like it's, looks like it's scratched off. And the hurry up on the back looks good. And the back pockets on his uh, pants looks good. You know, pink. Just pretty good looking, so yeah. And the it looks pretty good on the because they didn't mess up with Wario on this, so yeah. So that's Wario, pretty much finally the last amiibo. Whew. So that's the, the amiibo collection. After that, it's pretty much pretty surprising. This is a lot shorter than my DS and 3DS collection, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video and. Bye bye. Oh, and also funny thing, it's actually really snowing and it's kinda of surprising. Possibly I might make the advanced gaming video tomorrow because I might not have school, which is actually a good thing, since I make make a new video possibly around tomorrow, hopefully. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed this collection video. And bye bye. And I wanna appreciate my fan, Liam, for requesting me this. So Hope you enjoyed this video, Liam. So, bye-bye.